the ministry is also quite busy in um, promoting and assisting parents. One of the goals of SSSD is to help keep parents, families, and the community involved, enabled, and empowered. If every child must learn, then every parent, family, and community must be part of this process. During 2016, SSSD is continuing with its community education workshop initiatives. They have planned and will be facilitating three parent education workshops throughout this year. The first is scheduled to take place on June 1st. These workshops are being held with the outcome in mind of having a better informed family working together in the best interest of the child. Parents will be able to, during these workshops, acquire or increase their knowledge in various subject areas affecting their children and the families. They will receive pointers, tips, and tools on how to deal with particular challenges. All these workshops will be held at the University of St. Martin from 7 to 9 p.m. Refreshments will be served as well to those in attendance. So the first, as I stated before, will be June 1st upcoming, the second tentatively for September 7th, and the last November 2nd of 2016. Some of the topics to be covered are peer pressure, the effects of nutrition on learning and behavior in children, as well as gang activity. So I do encourage parents to look out for these announcements. As I mentioned before, the first is on June 1st. They are free of charge, and this is one of the opportunities that you as parents have to gain the necessary knowledge to increase your ability to deal with the challenges we face with our youth on a daily basis. Also, general care management meetings are being scheduled for care providers, which include the social workers, student guidance counselors, and student care coordinators of all foundation-based education schools. They are meeting in general care management meetings, GCMM, in the year 2015-16. These were extended also to the secondary schools and is chaired by the staff of the, Saint Mart the Student Support Services Division of our ministry. The calendar for the first meeting was held on April 1st and for elementary schools and April 8th for secondary schools. And we'll proceed in June with the elementary schools um, with three sessions, June, September and December, and secondary schools also, June, September and December. So this is an, an effort, um, we continue to say what is being done, what is being done, but I think if more of us take part in these workshops, in these informative workshops, uh, we will be more proactively busy as a society, as a community, as a caregivers, as well as parents in dealing with the challenges that we are constantly facing with our students both in and out of school. Um, of course, prevention is always better than cure. And once we have built up the tools necessary to do more prevention, we will definitely see an improved society. So I do encourage not just the parents, but also the care providers of all schools to take part in these very important workshops.
afford what you crave, life just gets so good. KFC, so good for everyone. GEBE has been faithfully serving the communities of St. Martin, powering your home and our economy. Come rain or shine, our qualified team of professionals are working hard 24 hours a day to provide you and your family with safe, reliable electricity and water. We use the latest technologies and test our products daily to maintain the highest international standards. Our friendly staff is always there to assist you, whether in person, over the phone, or online. We are committed to constantly improving our products and services, making them more efficient, effective, and environmentally friendly to serve you better today and our next generation of clients tomorrow. GEBE, powering a brighter future. Our friend Mega Wadi is here with tips to save you energy. One, turn your air code temperature up. Two, use a ceiling fan instead. Three, buy energy saving products. Save some green with NVGEBE. Oh my, oh my, what an inventory list, and so unnecessary. But wait, your home contents are all insured by Be Sure. That means that you determine the amount you want to insure. No inventory list, no asshole. Are you Be Sure? Be Sure. <laughs> Bob, I can understand why you're parking so carefully. Of course, when you can get 80% discount on your Be Sure car insurance. <laughs> but that's overdoing it, Bob. Are you be sure? Be sure. Yeah. Life is a journey full of connections. You're in safe hands, even when life starts too soon. You don't have to miss a single beat. When a bad hair day makes you sad, just sharing can bring you joy and more to come. They take the plunge, turn fear into faith, while you capture those beautiful moments. In the game of life, it's family that counts. They'll be there even when you lose. We all have our moments of reflection and hope. And when you feel you're losing everything in life, we're there because there's more to come. When life starts too soon, you don't have to miss a single beat. We're here to connect you and share life. Tell so when you want more. What I've said before I went to Holland, after I came back, there were many reasons why I couldn't be present to give any answer. In the Netherlands, I have met um, the members from the Voortgangscommissie, Minister van der Steur, the SG van Minister Plaster, Plasterk, and the Red Line in Holland was how Holland can sustain, support the justice uh, chain in St. Martin. I was promised to receive six police officers. I was promised to um, receive uh, support for the prison, but not in detail. Um, I had to organize a two-day two days of conference that has been done on the 11th and the 12th of April. After that, I had to go to Aruba to attend, um, to visit the uh, Minister of Justice in Aruba and to attend some <coughs> issues with the ACPOL, that is the system that the police is, attend is using for information. So there were a lot of things that we, uh, I had to do because of the trip in 
the Netherlands. At this moment, I plan to go again because of the EVO to the Netherlands and things that didn't um, that I didn't receive from the Netherlands yet, I tried to get them in the coming visit to the Netherlands. She mentioned on Monday that she believes that the percentage, that, uh, almost 50% of the population that are between, uh, uh, have the household income between 1,000 to 3,000 guilders is not based on uh, brain drain, but more based on a shrinking middle class. Is that a sentiment you share? And if it is, um, what is being done to alleviate the situation or help? I'm not familiar with, sorry. Um, I'm not familiar with the statistics that was quoted. Um, I assume it was accurately coded, and if it's accurately coded, then that's what it is. Uh, the point is that we are facing shrinkage of one kind of the other, and something needs to be done. We no longer, as Paige from the cruise industry is saying, can be complacent. Uh, I think we still have many opportunities um, to optimize uh, the yield that our tourist industry can produce. Um, and we need to do so in a professional manner uh, uh, to be able to enjoy the benefits of it. Uh, the complacency that has been talked about is a reality. And uh, we no longer can afford that complacency. So we need to become proactive. I mentioned, for instance, in Parliament, you leave the airport and the first town you meet coming to the east is Simpson Bay. Uh, just imagine a family, tourists, or uh, residents walking along the Windward Island Bank uh, the pharmacy uh, going in that direction and they've got to avoid rocks and potholes and if it rains they've got to be careful they don't get wet. Um, there is no kind of landscaping. In other words, all the tourists come at the airport, leave and the first village they come, that's the signal that they get from St. Martin Wilds. Tourism is the most important pillar that we have for our economy. So one would think that you would do all to make certain that the signal you send to tourists is that you care about them, you want, to make, you want to make sure that they have a decent environment, that they can stroll moving from one place to the other without getting wet, that there's some landscaping, that there are no potholes, uh, these are the things that I think we need to take a look at on a long-term basis to at least reinforce the basis of uh, that pillar of economy that we all say is so important. If something is important, then you would do everything humanely possible to make sure you maintain it optimally. And that is not happening, and that needs to be tackled on a long-term basis to fix, to be able to get the yield out of your tourist product that's there, but you're not getting. It's been said that behind every door, possibility awaits.
much possibility depends on which door you open first. Every day, we help our customers discover the possibilities in their lives. It all starts with a conversation. Scotiabank. Discover what's possible. Only Hilux overcomes Hilux, a new era for pickup. These are the doors that never close. These are the hands that make a difference. These are the walls that could tell countless stories of helping and healing, of storms weathered, of change and growth, of a place where life begins where hearts are mended and where hope grows stronger. For more than a quarter of a century, the physicians, medical professionals and staff of St. Martin Medical Center have combined advanced medical technology and compassionate care to bring a world of medicine to our friends, neighbors and visitors to the island of St. Martin we all call home. As proud as we are of what we have accomplished, we believe there is still much work to do to continue a proud tradition of providing everyone in our community with the latest technology, the best medicine, and the most exceptional care. St. Martin Medical Center, celebrating 25 years of serving, caring, healing. This is how common it is to develop a mental illness. One out of every four. 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 But there is hope. Today, most mental illnesses can be managed and treated. Visit your general doctor if you feel concerned about your thoughts and behaviors or have some difficulty dealing with some of life's issues. If you have been diagnosed and are suffering from a mental illness, keep in mind these four points to help you manage your mental health. One. Get regular checkups with your general doctor. Two. Stay on your treatment plan to prevent relapses. Three, find a strong support group in your family and friends. And four, never be afraid to ask for help and look for the warning signs of your illness. Remember, you are not alone. We are as close as one. Two. Three. Four. Learn about mental health illness by going to the Mental Health Foundation's website at www.mhf-sxm.com. held carnival celebrations. Many questions were had uh, definitely to my person as to culture and where are we, so how are we actually celebrating this, our largest cultural celebration here on St. Martin. And though I have my concerns as well, uh, we only had one preliminary meeting with the SCDF prior to carnival celebrations and therefore not much could be done. However, during the period that I have been here, I have, uh, how you say, task the culture department to um, find a way for us to highlight not just carnival, but the cultural icons that helped to make carnival possible. And so they were able to come up with the originators of the idea, um, and therefore the Ministry of Education, Culture, Youth and Sports via the culture department will be honoring the icons of Carnival on St. Martin. Many don't know the history, so I will leave the major information for when we have that on Friday, but we will be honoring them on Friday upcoming right here in the Claude Wattie Legislative Hall for 
being the initiators. And it all started with the former Lieutenant Governor, the late Lieutenant Governor Renier Van Delden of the Windward Islands, who attentive to the sentiments of the population of St. Martin recognized and saw the hunger of the people for such a celebration and charged then many know Mr. Jocelyn Arundel, Arundel, who traveled to St. Thomas along with Alexi Arnell, who was then Chief of Public Works, and Johan Dykoff, who was then Chief of Finance, and they were sent on a mission. And what they brought back is what we now celebrate, is what started as a baby, right over there where uh, the library is right now. And we are honoring the, the late Rene Van Delden as the initiator, the last living Jocelyn Arndell, um, ones that actually went back and forth and helped to birth the idea here on St. Martin, as well as those first eight boot holders. Um, whether they have passed on or not, we would like to honor them for having started this celebration here on St. Martin. And with doing so, we hope to um, make it quite obvious to the population that we do want to bring back more of culture to our celebration. And as such, we are organizing meetings with the SCDF and will work on a service level agreement which would ensure that the cultural aspects of Carnival are maintained. And, and though we do expect that changes happen, that is natural, that is normal, we, do, we would like to see that where um, proper behavior, morality, and that, that we do not become acceptable, accepting as a society of things that we know that is not necessarily what we consider a part of our culture. So these discussions will be had. Um, the, the positives will be highlighted, of course. Uh, many people do enjoy much of what takes place during Carnival. But again, part of our history and cultural heritage must continue to be highlighted during these festivities. And that will be our priority moving forward. Of course, we do know that um, with everything that we try to push forward, it will have a cost attached to it. And uh, many have questioned that the marketing funds that have been given or will be given from government, I'm not even sure if they received it as yet, that these funds do not come from the education or cultural department. So of course, in promoting culture, we will definitely have to step up to the plate financially as well. And so therefore, in setting our 217 budget, I am hoping that we will be able to do so. So we look forward to these discussions and um, to honoring our carnival icons right here on St. Martin this coming Friday. Yeah, look. 